Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Indicator Store and today I am going to teach you how to create a simple setup using indicators included with NinjaTrader. In this example I am going to use an oscillator like for example the stochastic and also a filter. For the filter I am going to use the slope of an HMA and as you can see we have on this example, signals like this, a long, here we have a short, a short, and a short. This is just an example. I, I want to explain how we can use uh, an oscillator, like for example, the stochastic. So let's remove everything and start from the basics. For those who have markers, I am going to explain also how you can do this with markers tools. So let's say we have an oscillator. We already know an oscillator has uh, overbought and oversold areas. My preferred oscillator is the classic stochastic included with any platform. For the stochastic, I use the key line okay, with a period of seven. That means on, on the D line, I use a period of one. So we get two lines overlapped. The key and the D are the same. So I draw the key with the line and uh, the D with dots. So we get overlapped a line and dots. So it is simple to detect when uh, we have a crossover of the overvote. For this example, I am using an overvote of 80 and an oversold of 20. And the signals on any oscillator are when the, the oscillator leaves the overvote or oversold area. Like for example, here, here, here. All these places are shorts. Okay, because the market is no longer in overbought uh, zone. And here we have a long, another, it, uh, not, not on this case. So here, here, here. Maybe also here. Okay. So, no, on this case, we have several signals. Now you can see there are a lot of, of signals. So we need to add a filter. And also we need to optimize which are the, the best levels for the overbought and oversold areas. Now, what can we use? to filter the trend. We have a lot of indicators for doing that. My preferred moving average is the HMA. We can see that, for example, the HMA 100, HMA 100. It is a, a smooth line and we it has a, a low um, delay compared with other uh, moving average, like the exponential moving average or the simple moving average. And we can see that uh, at this moment it is uh, going down. Maybe on this area uh, we have longs and short, okay? But starting at this moment, we have a well-defined trend to the downside. That means that when the market is going up, defined by this line, then we can take only long signals, like this one, more or less in this area. And when the market is going down, we can take only shorts, like this one, more or less on this small pullback. Now, how can I measure the slope of a line? And let's say I don't have markers. I have standard indicator from Ninja Trader. You can use the momentum indicator. With the momentum, momentum is an indicator 
that is present on all Ninja Trader and most trading platforms. Um, by the way, the logic inside Momentum, this indicator, is just the current value of whatever you place here. Eh, the default is the price minus the value and bars ego. For example, if I leave the price, I get something like this. Okay. Uh, but if instead of leaving the price, I place this indicator, the HMA 100, okay? I click it on the input series. So we can nest the, the momentum indicator with something else. For example, HMA 100. Now we get something like this, where we can see when it is going up, when the line is going up, we get a positive histogram, when it is going down, a negative histogram, and when the slope is not so big, we can see that the histogram is small. So we can define thresholds uh, where we want to trade. Uh, by the way, Oh, the, the standard uh, momentum format is uh, not a histogram. I changed that. Uh, I, I selected a plot style of bars uh, because the default is a line. I prefer to watch the histogram in bar formats. Okay. So now the idea is, oh, now we have the signals. These crossovers. Crossover down of the overbought level crossover up of the oversold level and then we have the filter the momentum of the line that i want to use as a filter and that line is an hma uh, very simple even we can try this uh, manually like for example let's say i i am looking for these crossovers okay i have this crossover the slope is negative we can see it is negative so we have a short where at the moment we have a crossover this level is over the overboat at the following bar it is below so i have a short on this bar here and this is a place for a short and then the market moves up moves down at the end, we don't know. Yeah, this is a level that we need to optimize. There's another short here. At which moment? At this bar. Okay, at this bar we have a short. But the problem is that the the slope of this line is going to the is is to the upside. So there's no the filter is avoiding to take this trade, and so on. Okay, we have another short here, this one, and in this case it is negative. Okay. Now let's see how we can uh, show the signals uh, using markers. All the signals that we have here. Uh, using markers or also builder. Uh, with Builder, we can automate these signals. We, we, with markers, we can see and also automate the signals. So I need this line and I need this oscillator. I also need the this histogram. So let's let's start let's. Let's start by using markers copy on each one of them. So we use markers copy. And the most important here is the, the, the oscillator. Okay, so we can see the all the signals. Okay? Let, let's copy the oscillator. And I am going to use OS instead of um, stochastic because you can place your preferred oscillator there. A MACD, a CCI, RSI, all of them are more or less the same. Inside the input series, I am going to place the indicator that I am going to copy. And on this case, it is a stochastic. 
stochastic with a period of seven. Uh, we are not using the D line, and what I copy is the key line. Okay. Now markers copy is going to show these uh, little dots and I want them to be painted on the panel number two, overlapping the stochastic. So um, panel number two. Okay, now we can see that the dots are overlapping. Now let's say I want to uh, paint all the signals, all these arrows. We can use the markers logic where my logic is that the oscillator crosses uh, below 80 or crosses above um, 20. So we can type the signal for long are when the oscillator on the current bar is for longs greater than 20 and also on the previous bar the oscillator one bar ago was less than 20. That means that the oscillator is crossing over 20, you know, because now it is greater, previously it was less. When this is true, let's paint the background in color green and we get this. All the crossovers to the upside. And similarly, we can do this for the shorts. So let me copy and paste. And now for the shorts, the oscillator crosses below 80. Okay, so now on the current bar is less than 80. And previously, one bar ago, it was a greater than 80. When this is true, we have a red background, okay? a lot of signals, uh, the, the signals that we painted with arrows previously. Uh, we can place all together on the same panel, but let me paint the histogram with the corresponding color because all in, green, all in gray is not looking good. So this is green and the other is red. Okay, and now we can place all together, doing a drag and drop. And now we have the unfiltered signals. Now I need this to filter. And for that filter, we can copy the momentum of the HMA. There are many ways to do this, but this is one of the many options. Uh, uh, filter. Uh, let, let's use the variable filter. The filter is the momentum. What we have here, it is the momentum of only one bar of the HMA of 100 bars. So indicator momentum of only one bar and inside the input series the HMA of 100 bars. Okay. And now it is going to draw those little blue dots overlapping. Uh, this is the panel number three. So we can select panel number three and there we have the blue dots. Okay. Now, how, how can I apply the filter? We have several options. We can filter the signal. So only paint those signals in agreement like this. So this is, this is the long, no? So I double click and I set that also and um, filter on the current bar is greater than, I don't know, zero. Uh, zero is uh, even almost 
positive, but uh, too close to zero. M maybe we can add a threshold, but by now let's make it simple, greater than zero, okay? And for the shorts and filter is less than zero, okay? Now we get only one long here, eh? this signal, because this is positive, it is greater than zero. This signal here, because it is less than zero. Uh, even there is a short here, because if you take a look, yes, it, it is negative. Almost, uh, how much? It is 0 0.2. Okay? So we can, we can specify even a threshold, let's say something like maybe here and another threshold for the shorts. And the threshold can be equal or not. Uh, if I want to include uh, this short, it should be more or less here. Or maybe negative two. Okay. So it should be less than negative two for the shorts. Okay. So only these two shorts. And for the longs, it can be greater than zero or greater than any number that I, I want to use. For example, greater than two is more or less the same. Greater than two. Okay. So this is one method. We only paint filtered signals. The other method is uh, paint all the signals and filter them in markers. The final step will be to automate this. So on the longs, eh, on this signal, I can create a fast signal go long. On the other, I create the fast signal go short. Then we add markers and we set the fast signals with the same name, go long and go short. And that's ready. We only need a valid ATM that we can select from the chart trader. And we select any, any ATM, click here, any account, we click on the account, enable the longs, enable the shorts and set an automatic mode or semi-automatic. The only difference between the automatic and the semi-automatic is that when a signal is executed in semi-automatic mode, the, the button is turned off. Okay. Okay. That's all for today. If you have any question or comment, you can post it on the chat room that we have on Discord. The instructions to log into the Discord chat room are on the description of this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.